Hello everyone and welcome to the Prophecy Files Briefing. I'm glad that you've joined us today. I'm Pastor Joey Rogers and I hope you'll stay with me for just a few moments as we bring you some updated information this week and over the next few weeks, I'm gonna take up uh, what I call the top indicator, the setup for the take up. It is the rapture ready indicators that I'm gonna bring to you of different things that are happening around our world that should point us toward uh, the imminent return of Jesus Christ, they certainly do, but for you to be able to look up and see that our redemption draws nigh according to the word of God. In this article, is, uh, it's a very much of a tell-all, and that is the Biden administration's vacuum of leadership. The vacuum of leadership that has taken place, for instance, uh, all around the globe because of America's position and how that we've been backing away and softening our approach and uh, lessening the power and the authority of the United States globally. According to this article, the Sudan is in serious conflict and has been for a long, long time, but uh, the current administration has now abandoned some 16,000 United States citizens in that country to life or death situations and decisions. Uh, the article goes on to talk about how that President uh, Xi in China and President Putin in uh, Russia are getting together more and more often, as well as the uh, leaders of Saudi Arabia. So you've got all of these different ones that are vying for position. You've got some in France and some in Canada, leaders in those locations that are trying to be able to posture themselves. You also have the mullahs of Iran who are exporting weapons uh, in a massive scale into Russia to support the effort there against the Ukraine. And of course, the United States is in, uh, engaged and intertwined with the Ukraine and Russia, and that conflict remains uh, something where there is no leadership. Nobody is bringing people to the table. Then you've got uh, China and Russia and Iran literally sitting down to make pacts and covenants themselves. And the real question is, uh, why is the United States allowing Iran to be able to uh, the Iranian regime, I should say, in this article, to continue to develop nuclear weapons. Well, all of these are what we would call the vacuum of leadership. And because of that, it is a serious indicator of the fact that there will be one that will rise in power in the coming days and perhaps, in my opinion, is already alive and on the scene, off stage, waiting for the entrance of the Bible, calls him the man of sin, the Antichrist. I want to give you some indicators to help you be rapture ready. And one of them is the vacuum of a global leader. Right now, people are trying to locate someone who can speak in such a way and communicate in such a way uh, as to bring peace and uh, bring people to the table, a commonality, a unity as it's identified. And this is uh, a struggle that's been taking place, and certainly in our own leadership here in the United States, we're watching a decline that is taking place there uh, day by day. It's very interesting to me, and all you gotta do is go back into history, you'll see the reason why Adolf Hitler rose in power in the pre-World uh, War II time period was there were several of things, but uh, democracy, as you hear a lot of it spoken of by the leadership of the United States and democracy, we're for democracy, democracy. I want to just make this statement to you. Democracy will elect the Antichrist. According to the book of Revelation 13, the Bible says, And I stood upon the sands of the sea and saw a beast rise up out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns. Upon his horns ten crowns, and upon his name the name of blasphemy. And the beast that I saw was like unto a leopard, his feet were like a bear, his mouth uh, the mouth of a lion, and the dragon gave him his power, his seat, and his great authority. That's Satan. And I saw one of the heads as it was wounded unto death. This is what will happen to the Antichrist. And his deadly wound was healed, and all the world wondered after the beast. Now, this is very important. And they worshiped the dragon, which gave them power, Satan, to the beast. And they worshiped the beast, saying, Who is like unto the beast? who is able to make war with him. Look at this rising dictator uh, that will literally take global uh, dominance and authority. There was given to him, the Bible says, a mouth speaking great things and blasphemies, and power was given unto him at 40 and two months. That's three and a half years of a seven year tribulation period. It goes on to speak of the fact that the uh, 
war that will be coming upon those that are the saints of God during that time, that during the tribulation period that will have been left here after the rapture takes place, will take place in a global scenario. And this rising dictator, this rising world leader that the Bible calls the Antichrist or the beast, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I believe is already staged and ready to step on the scene in light of the vacuum of leadership that we have around the globe. Here's another indicator, a, the global system that is setting up for the Antichrist to come. Now watch, the UN and the World Economic Forum have now got such a convergence into a portrait of the coming one world government that it is uh, unbelievable. In fact, there is of course the continued talk of democracy uh, among them all to try to get the people to rise up uh, in the last days. It's interesting that the church of Laodicea in Revelation 3 is called the people's church. It's the one that rises up where the people take control instead of God. This is exactly what you're seeing here in this rising global system where the Antichrist will take authority and the World Economic Forum and the UN without a doubt are moving us very close to that day by day. Uh, even with the World Health Organization recently uh, putting on the scene the digital passport for people's health globally. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we'll talk more about that uh, in the coming weeks, but I can tell you that alone is an indicator, especially out of the pandemic uh, in recent years, it is an indicator of a collection of people into a one world system and a one world government. The question is, uh, are you going to succumb to that kind of mentality? You gotta be careful what you ask for when you're talking about democracy because Americans are freedom loving people, there is no doubt about it. But we are not establishing freedom in a democratic republic uh, in the United States founded upon the word of God. In fact, we are creating a, the God of freedom. In other words, democracy taking control much like it did during the days of uh, the rise of Adolf Hitler, what was happening? Well, uh, in that particular time period, there was a global economic crisis with the depression that it hit. There was famine that was taking place and the people rose up and said, give us a leader. Uh, and we don't really care what it looks like. Give us someone who can mobilize us. And to that rise came Adolf Hitler and won the popular vote uh, in pre-World War II Germany. Now, what was taking place in that time? Europe was rebuilding after the devastation of World War II then, after it was over with. Unity and diversity became the standard. Individuals became associated with uh, companies instead of their individual countries. And economic freedom and prosperity started blooming. But I can tell you, it was in that kind of a vacuum. And since that time, that we have allowed these other things to become gods to us, and now we're sitting just like it was prior to World War II when people are crying out, give us a leader. Give us someone that we can be able to trust in, put our confidence in, who can bring a solution and answers to the global problems of famine, e the economy, uh, wars and rumors of wars, all of that taking place. Well, the Bible is very clear. There is coming one, he's called the Antichrist. And I'm not looking for the Antichrist to come because before he arises on the scene, the Bible tells us very clearly that the church, every Bible-believing Christian, every person who has the mark of Jesus Christ by the blood of his cross upon their life, they will be snatched off of this earth in the next great event on the calendar of God called the rapture of the church. My question is, are you rapture ready? If you're not, today's the day of salvation. Give your life to Jesus Christ right now and make sure that you're ready when the call comes from the clouds. I want you to join me next time right here on Prophecy Files Briefing. I'm going to bring you more of the indicators of being rapture ready so that you can be ready too. Till that time, remember Jesus Christ is coming soon.